As you walk into my train room, you can see some of the recent kits that I finished. And looking down at the lower level, some of the older ones that I have done in the previous years. But going all the way down, you can see what I'm working on now. And we're going to turn this into this right here. So let's see how we got to this point in this video. My latest kit is Farmer's Fertilizer Supply. It's a Blair Line kit. I picked it up at a train show, not quite sure when or what train show, but uh, I've had it for a while, like, like most kits that I have. But uh, here's what I got so far. Right here on the workbench, uh, I'm gonna show you some pictures, how I got here, and some videos of what I'm doing along the way. Farmer's Fertilizer Supply. This one right here. Boom. Okay. Voila, nothing left in the box. Okay, so here are, is the signage right here. Here is the plastic bag. Here is the instructions right here. That's what it's supposed to look like. Some more views of it right there. This is really, this is a peel and stick right here. You got some doors and windows and some floorboards. Looks like some trim. Here's a little short dowel. Here is the uh, metal work on the outside. And let's fast forward through all the other parts that are in this bag so you don't get bored with uh, <laughs> everything in here. Let's take a look at some of the parts that we have to work with in this kit. I have everything laid out and painted. Many, many parts, a lot of nice details, all in wood and fiberboard. I use gray primer on the metal parts and the concrete with a splash of white on the concrete and then the tan camouflage made by Rust-Oleum for the building itself, then I weathered it. Let's not forget the white trim. What I'm doing with these wall panels is I'm gluing them together and I might add a little bit of bracing across there because you can see I have to add detail here. The side walls are the same way, it comes in two pieces. All the walls come in two pieces and I plan on putting signage across the gaps. Now, this right here, there's another piece. Actually, this fits on that right there. And then this little shed is on this side, but there's a sign that can fit right in here. But it would be hard to put the sign on once it's mounted on the foundation. So we're gonna glue all these things together and put a little bit of bracing behind it. Just to keep it, I could see this one, that one warped a little bit, this one's okay. But that's another reason right there because of the warpage. And uh, I'll show you what I did with this Right here, I put all the, those supports in there, slid them all the way up, and put the motor table in there. I have to glue that yet. Uh, I have to put these little <laughs> angle break brackets in. Here is the uh, little walkway, and there's the cage around the walkway. 
as you can see right there. Fun little details. But uh, this is a simple kit, but it has a lot of details outside the building, like that right there, which make it even more funner. I decided to go with 332nd square to support the walls because I had one already opened up, as you can see right there. You can get these at Hobby Lobby or your favorite hobby store really good to have on hand for your modeling needs whether you're building kits scratch building kit bashing whatever i'm going to show you the signage and the bracing on here that i did all right here's the two in pieces you got the uh, box right here there's the signage on all the walls and this one right here, I had to cut out a space for this sidewall here. <laughs> and even with the this bracing in here, it's still warped a little bit because I didn't go all the way to the end. But once I glue it into the, the base and glue the roof up on top, it'll straighten out and here's the bracing on that one i didn't put any bracing on this one right here we got this far with the building i had to cut out some slots in the center support for the uh, bracing to accommodate the bracing right there we got the garage doors in and they fit flush with the bottom and so I just slid them in there and glued them in the top on both sides now all I have to do is put this little shed on the side here and put some windows in here I didn't put any windows in there yet I'm just gonna probably could just put some tape in there because you're not gonna see it anyway it's gonna be dark in there let's take a look at what we got done so far i got all the trim on all the corners i got the roof in all i have to do is put the uh detail on the roof uh maybe fill in a little bit in the corners on the edge of the trim with a little bit of white and then i have to work on these shoots over here Here's the little deal on the side, the side shed. Okay, this little white trim that I have under the eaves is supposed to be on the edge of the uh, roof, but I think it looks better underneath there. And what I did was I had to trim the bottom of these. I was wondering why they had... Uh, them all along until I looked at the directions at the last minute when I was putting the shed this shed together <laughs> and found out that they go on the edge of the roof panel there you go right at the edge of the roof panel and not underneath but uh, I think it looks better underneath Let's take a look. You could, uh, you know, you could see it a lot better. So, what do you think? Under the roof or at the very edge of the roof? Here are a few more views of it before I finish completing this. I still had to work on the detail parts, touch up a few of the undersides, and the weathering this was a fairly easy kit to assemble since it was tab and slot but i deviated from the instructions since it's easier to add the signage when it's laying flat than when the building is already assembled if you would like to see more on my kit building tune in every wednesday night at 8 p.m 
where I do at least a two hour, sometimes more, of a live stream of me working at the workbench. So my next kit, I have two right now, Mind Mott Models, Tom's Top Dogs. This one's on hold right now because I had to contact them for a part. But in the meantime, I've been working on this one right here, Old Man Simon's Garage. It's a stick built board by board and I'm almost finished with that. You can see this past Wednesday night, me assembling all the framework for it. So, like I said, every Wednesday night you could see more of me assembling kits. Um, I'll be doing that. I'm doing it both on Rumble and on YouTube now. YouTube, I just started doing it on YouTube. I've been doing it on Rumble for about the past month and a half now. And I just started this past week doing it on YouTube also to see how it goes. And it went pretty well. So I'm going to show you some more pictures here of the finished product. So until the next time, we'll see you and have fun with those structure kits.